Phil there and welcome back to Building with the Boys. Uh, a step away from some of the big models. Let's do something kind of nice and contained. Um, about two years ago, literally to the day, um, I bought uh, Orpheus, the sad robot. And it was in celebration of finding a job in the middle of lockdown. Um, it was just as a... It's what I do. If there's, if there's any kind of like a, event that I want to remember, I typically build a model... And it reminds me of it. So I've got a lot of what's up on the shelf remind me of certain points in my life. And this is why I bought Orpheus. Um, I just found a job in the middle of lockdown. And things were looking bleak. Because I'd just been laid off as a result of lockdown. And it was it was touch and go for a while. But we bought Orpheus. Um, and I adore him. I really do. This is Orpheus the Sad Robot. Um, you can see he lights up here. He does play a tune as well. Now Orpheus is based on a character from Greek mythology. Um... I don't have time to go into the entire story, uh, but he was never allowed to see his wife again. If he looked at her, she would be um, sent to Hades for eternity, um, and he couldn't help himself. He looked at her, and uh, ever since then, he's been the heartbroken robot. Um, I'll play his song before we uh, move on to the next part, but he sat up on my shelf for like two years. Right? I adore him, I do. I think he's gorgeous. I think he's got a lot of personality for a little wooden robot. And um, he is very lonely. And for the longest time, uh, I've seen something I want to get for him and just never got around to getting it. And then this popped up. The price was right. The price was good. I've wanted to get him for a while. Um, and I did. So we've got Orpheus, a friend. We've got his dog, which is Seymour. Um, and it's a, it's a lovely little build. And this was a steal. I got this from Amazon for like a tenner, which is amazing because normally this was around about 25, 28 quid. And this was 10 quid. So yeah, jumped at it. So we're going to build that, um, and we're going to build a mate for Orpheus, because he's been moping for entirely too long. Because, again, with the story, he had to guide his wife out of the underworld, and um, if he if he looked at her, she'd be dragged back down there forever, and he couldn't help himself. He turned and looked at her. And that is why he plays the song, Can't Take My Eyes Off Of You. So this is Orpheus doing his thing, you can see his gears work in there. Gorgeous. Um, I adore him, I do, but it is, it's been entirely too long uh, for him to be lonely. So we have built Seymour. Uh, well, we're going to build Seymour. So let's go through it. I think it'd be a nice, easy build. I'll show you the bits as we go. And uh, this is a great one. If you're looking at getting started in these, Seymour would be a great one to begin with. Here we are. Here is Seymour. Um, and everything that comes in the box. So let's open them up now. Take a look. Now, you do get a lot more box than is necessary with some of these, but I think I would rather have some parts protected than not at all, but I do think they could do something to reduce it. Okay, let's just have a look at what we get. So we have... Let me get these out. Our boards, here are all the parts that are going to make Seymour. We've got a sandpaper as standard. We get the glue. This is actually pretty good glue. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's wood glue. I do favour Loctite. Um, but you do get it. We get a bag of bits. We got little bells and things in there for him. Some dowel. Little plastic tweezers. A little screwdriver. Uh, the winder key. And then we, of course, have the music box itself. And Seymour's little dome. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this open, um, we're going to get through this, and uh, we'll have a look every now and then when I reach a part I think it's worth taking a look at. We have Seymour's little legs complete. So we've got our back legs and we've got our front, well we've got our front legs and we've got back legs. Very easy to do. Um, it was just four pieces that slot together, five pieces sorry, that slot together off for these legs. Some elements put onto the front, and it's all held in place. And the back legs there. And the next thing we've done as we built this wall so will sit just underneath the body now we're going to put the dowel through there and through a leg either side and that's going to create his base and these are solid feet as well so good sort of chunk for him to stand on so we're going to crack on with this part now we're going to put these base panels into here and then we're going to start mounting these legs to him and then we'll have a look at that there are seymour's legs and his base frame there you can see we've got the lovely rogue brand on the bottom there and he's looking really rather lovely. 
simple to do so far, nothing overly challenging with him. I don't think he's going to take that long, to be honest. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the, um, the music box to the bass plate, and then um, that will eventually be attached into here. We're going to make the body next. Okay, so there's Seymour's body onto the legs now. Quite simple, it's just a little box. Now the, uh, the music box is screwed inside of here. We have this part here, this is going to make his gears rotate. And then we have the hole here, which the uh, the winder mech is going to go through. Um, he's pretty much done. I mean, we need to add detail to him. So, I mean, we're going to add all the details to him now. Um, we're going to build the part that's going to go in here that's going to rotate. Uh, we've got his collar to build, but he really doesn't take long to build at all. So I'm going to crack on the detail and we'll take a look at him. Okay, so stage eight of Seymour complete. We've just added some detail into the sides of these little parts here. Um, the same, just a mirror image on the other side, just some details. And then we've added some of the top details as well. So we've got these large gears in place. We've added the winder key. Now when you come to do this, the winder key, you pretty much go in in blind. Um, but don't panic if it's not good in for a sub. Just a little wiggle, you'll find the bite and point. And it will go and it will fit rather lovely. Um, stage 9, we're going to build his tail. And we're going to do some uh, detail to the front as well. So I'm going to crack on with that and we'll take a look. I'm complete, just went with the glue straw on this one. We've um we've completed Seymour's tail uh on the back of him and now we just got these little embellishments put on the front. And that's it. Now in stage ten we're gonna be building the the main mechanism that's gonna go here. Uh and we're gonna be placing the elements including the dome, I believe, over this, and then uh, we'll be seeing if it works. So that is Seymour complete. Um he really has a lovely little build. Um, we've got his little belts and his uh, dog collar on there. Um, he's a gorgeous little build. He really is. There's nothing too challenging with this at all. Um, he doesn't take long to do. Um, it's just lovely. It really is. He's <laughs> he's a great little build. So I'll wind him up and you can hear him do his thing. That's it, that's Seymour complete. So now Orpheus has got a little mate. I ain't gonna feel so guilt about leaving up on a shelf all lonely. And um he's a nice addition. The only one we haven't got from this series, it is a steampunk series, is we don't have the space vehicle. If I see it and it's a decent price, I'll get it. But I mean again, it, it's it was too similar to the submarine for me. But the space vehicle's quite nice. Place fly me to the moon is gorgeous. I do want it just to round out the set. Um but that's it. Now if again, if you were looking at getting into one of the Rogue or Robot Time models. Seymour would be a very good start. The temptation is to get... They're all pretty, and the temptation is to sort of get a big, pretty one. Um, but I would advise you start with Seymour, if you're not used to these, because he does show the the kind of elements of the larger builds, and it gets you kind of used to the materials, and he's quite forgiving. I think if you were to break anything, it'd be a quite an easy repair with Seymour. The, um, the mechanism is an overly elaborate... He goes together quite nicely. Um, I'd start with him and then move on to something like Orpheus or one of the um, the Ferris wheel you can see in the background there, or the carousel or, or something like that. But the carousel particularly it, it is very involved, whereas Seymour is, is a little more, I wouldn't say basic, um, but he's, he's one of the easier ones to do. Um, that is all for this one. We do, however, if you enjoyed that, we do have a fairly hefty one coming up. Uh, in the uh, Dramatron. Now, I've wanted to do this for ages, um, and I can't wait to start this. Um, but this will be up on the channel as well, so the Dramatron will be going up as well. It is what it sounds like. It's a robot, um, and it will draw a picture. Once this is done, we will build this robot, and it will draw one of four pictures when we turn the handle. We've got the skeletal arm there, and it will do it, and we can't wait to see this thing working. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed that, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you haven't yet and you're enjoying what we do, hit the subscribe button because we'd love to have you. We we love hearing from all of you and sharing the hobby with you. So, um, yeah, be a rascal and hit that subscribe. In a world we can be anything at all, just be nice. And we'll see you next time.